Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I'm Hamsters and this week I wanted to talk about play pens. So I actually just got one in the mail so I'll do a quick unboxing for you guys and then talk about what I found works. Okay, so this is this really silly play pen that I got from Amazon. And I've actually tried a few different playpen methods. I've tried making cardboard boxes, which does work. Um, but I also really like the idea of having something that's sort of established so I can kind of move it out of the way but keep everything inside. It's nice to have something that has a floor so that it contains all the seeds and all that stuff. So it is nice to have an actual playpen and not just cardboard boxes, although I do think that both are handy. So <laughs> this is the one. I wish it came in slightly better color choices, but it is what it is. It also comes with these um, like rainbow bridge and a teeter-totter toy, so I'll have to put that together later. But this is the main attraction. It's very affordable. And basically it comes all like this. Whoa! <laughs> it was very dramatic. I was not planning that. And it just pops up like that. So now I have a brand new playpen. All right, so a few things that I do like about this playpen is it has these nylon walls, which hamsters, or at least my dwarf hamsters, cannot crawl up. So from a secure standpoint, I can put a hamster in this. I don't usually leave them in this for a long period of time, but maybe if they come, they wake up and they want to get out of their cages, I might put them in this. And I'm usually in the same room or, you know, I live in an apartment, so it's not like I'm far away but I can put them in this and feel pretty safe. I've never seen them try to escape or even come close to being able to, so this has been pretty effective for me. There are other play pens that have mesh walls and those are not good. Hamsters can climb up that instantly or chew a hole in it, so I would rock not recommend that one. This is the only one that has the nylon wall that I found and is also this kind of style pop-up play pen, so this is the one that I prefer. One thing to keep in mind is your hamster can chew through this nylon and mine did chew a hole in the bottom. Um, so now I actually usually put like a sheet on the bottom or a towel or something to kind of protect the bottom from their chewing. And that seems to work pretty effectively and then that way I can always just wash the sheet or the towel and keep it clean for them. I don't really have any other comments other than I hope that one day there are play pens that are not as ugly so that I could have this in my apartment and not be ashamed of it. But one day. Here is a playpen that I recently set up for Little Laverne. And as you can see, I actually used some packing material from a recent shipment of beer that I got. So she's enjoying picking out some seeds from those little cups there. I hear some people asking questions about their hamster being nervous in playpen time. And I find one of the ways to make sure that your hamster feels safe is by always including a lot of hides and tunnels so they have an opportunity to hide if they feel a need to. These dwarf hamsters, Laverne and Shirley, are pretty confident hamsters, so I don't tend to have to worry about them too much, but I also give them very consistent items. I'll switch it up, but they can expect things that smell familiar to them and that they get to play in a lot. So it becomes sort of more of like a routine for them and less of a scary experience. If you are introducing a hamster to playtime for the first time, I suggest that you set up a playpen for them using some items that were already in their cage so they smell familiar to your hamster and make sure that their play space has a lot of things in it, lots of tubes and hides and places for them to get cozy. Hamsters don't really love wide open spaces generally, so you wanna make sure that it's not just an empty playpen for them to get scared and frazzled in. And then I would say, keep the playpen layout exactly the same and just give them a few minutes in the playpen every night, maybe a minute or two. Really keep it short, especially if they're very nervous and running around and looking frantic. You wanna just get them used to the idea and then bring them home and make sure that they remember that they come out of their cage, they get a little treat, a seed, and then they come home. And so they'll start to look forward to that activity every day. And once you start to notice that your hamster is more calm and curious and enjoying the experience, then you can start to mix it up a little bit for them and give them more new items or more different challenges that they might enjoy the stimulation of. 
One thing that I find works with all of my hamsters to make them enjoy their playtime a lot is by hiding seeds strategically throughout the playpen. You can see here little Vern is running around trying to find all the seeds I've hidden. And there she just found another one. And that gives them an activity. I find that hamsters are really motivated by having sort of a goal. Here is another playpen that I recently set up for Laverne. And in this case, I gave her a box full of coconut soil and I placed some flowers from Oakwood Forest in the coconut soil and also some millet and maybe some other various seeds in there. This was really successful and she spent at least a half hour digging through that dirt, rummaging through all the flowers and looking for little millet seeds. She seemed to really enjoy it. So if you are looking for an activity that might last a while for your hamster, I highly suggest this one. Just this week, I decided to buy some cat grass as I was checking out at Petco and it was really successful. This is little Shirley getting right in there and chewing on it. She seemed to really love it. So if you're looking for an additional item of interest to place in your playpen, I think this <laughs> seemed to be a good one. All right, well, if you have any tips to share on playpen activities that you do with your hamsters or playpens that you like to use with your hamsters, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear what you all are doing. Thank you, I'll see you guys next week.